Behold, the land of Ooh. A land filled with many kingdoms. Filled with a variety of spells. Creatures. And also filled with the people that I cannot stand. This is Pixelated Pete, and I am bringing you, from first to worst, my bottom ten least favorite people in the Adventure Time series. What up, YouTube? I am Pixelated Pete, and welcome to My Two Bits. Last time on the show, we talked about my top ten favorite characters from the Adventure Time series. So this week... To show that I am a that I'm fair and balanced, we go from the good to the bad and the downright ugly. That's right. This this episode, I will be talking about my bottom ten least favorite characters of the show. Now, keep in mind that I'm just giving you folks my two bits. So if you feel that uh, there's people on this list that need to be added or removed, feel free to post your comments in the section below. Now, like last time, I will be using images provided by the Adventure Time Encyclopedia and images used from the Adventure Time Wikipedia. I do not own uh, the Adventure Time series. I just own part of its merchandise. So I hope that's fair to y'all. Now, let's see who's on my bottom ten. Number ten. Starting off the bottom of the list is... Tiffany and Penny, two children, both with female names, but one is a guy. Uh, Tiffany, he's a f uh, Jake's former criminal accomplice, and he's that. I think he represents that one kid that you hung out with, and unfortunately became the very overly annoying stalker, clingy type. But he's also kind of evil, so there's that going for him. And Penny. Uh, she was in the episode The City of Thieves. She pretended to be all sweet and innocent, but she was actually a thief, even willing to go so far as to stab, try to stab Finn and Jake. And then after she was supposed to be rid of her villainous ways, she robbed them blind and ran. So yeah, for being downright annoying and deceptive and evil, congratulations kids, you get the bottom of the bottom. Number 9. The Lord of Evil, Hudson Abadir commonly known as Marceline's father. Yeah, I'm not really too fond of this guy. He seems to have a list of reasons why, so here it goes. For starters, there's the popular song that Marceline sings, Daddy, Why Did You Steal My Fries? So there's that. And then next, he is, well, the Lord of Evil, who's trying to kill off all of life on Ooh. And then, of course... Uh, he tried. He tricked Marceline into taking over the family business by turning her into some horrific, well, full demon ruler of the Night of Sphere. Now, yeah. So while I really don't like him for all his villainy, his one redeeming factor was how he figured out that Gunter is really evil, but was actually thwarted in sucking his soul. So, yeah. I mean, come on. Who hasn't seen him kick uh, Gunter? That's, and that's where he loses his redeemability right there. So, Hudson Avedere, congratulations. You may be the Lord of Evil, but you're number nine on my bottom ten. Number eight, the Fear Feaster. Yeah, I really can't stand this guy. He seems to be a jerk. He seems to be the embodiment of fear and the one thing in Finn's uh, gut, which uh, actually opens the vault of everything that Finn is afraid of. So, technically speaking, I'd say the Fear Feaster is the embodiment of not just Finn's fear, but I guess we all have our own Fear Feaster. It's that, it's that one factor that's inside of us where we think to ourselves, we can't do this or it's too scary. It's that, it's fear. Fear Feaster is basically fear. So, it appears that uh, Finn, while he does have control over him, he's able to use it to his advantage when he's fighting the Worm King. So, so yeah, well, it's kind of a good thing to use the fear to... to well, I don't think anyone likes getting nightmares, but I think this is the best way to counteract them. So the Fear Feaster, yeah, he's he's in all of us, and that's why I don't like him. Number seven, Ash. Yeah, Ash is the on-again, off-again, and now permanently ex-former boyfriend of uh, Marceline, the Vampire Queen. I don't get why Marceline actually hung out with this guy. He, seems, he seemed to just uh, want her to cook for him. And uh, then at one point, he actually sold uh, Hambo, 
Marceline's uh, prized uh, stuffed animal from from Simon, just so he could get a uh, magic wand from a sky witch. She broke up with him, and then he tried to take out the memory so she would uh, start dating him again. And naturally, this plan got thwarted by Finn and Jake, to which she not only dumped him, but uh, proceeded to beat the stuffing out of him with, along with uh, Jake and Finn and Jake's help. So, yeah, Ash, for taking away Hambo, a very important plot of the Simon and Marcy universe, you're number seven. Congratulations, jerk. Number six, Flame King. The Flame King is definitely the definitely deserving of this title. When he, uh, as uh, many years ago, when his daughter was born, it was uh, predicted that she would become more powerful than uh, more powerful than he was. And so, just to make sure this never happened, he decided to send the baby princess out into the world to die. When later rescued by Princess Bubblegum, he proceeded to confine her in a glass lamp for about fourteen. For about 14 years of her life. 15 years. Yeah, so the prophecy eventually came to pass, and now he's trapped in the glass lamp. But, uh, yeah, and also it was revealed that uh, there was a play where two of the actors were going to try to off the king because he was evil. So, yeah, so for staging a coup and taking over the country in the name of evil, and for treating your own daughter so badly, congratulations, Flame King, you get spot number six. At number five, Princess Bubblegum. Yes, that is right, Internet. Number five is Princess Bubblegum. While some of you may not like it and may not think it's the most popular decision or or that she should even be on this list, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who's less than fond of the princess. I've I've seen it a couple places, and I'd like to state my case. And it's not just because of the way she treats Finn, although there is evidence there for that. Uh, I'd like to point out the episode The Suitor, the way how she treats Brocco. She blatantly ignores him, just treats him like a science experiment, and uh, even after he harms himself with the Soul Stone, just says, oh, thanks, but I don't need it anymore. I got this artificial one made. She even goes and makes a robot just so just so it can hang out with him. So, like, this is kind of morally questionable. And then there was uh, the episode Wizards Only, where Starchy, he would only use magic to uh, cure his cold. And the way Princess Bubblegum disrespects him about it, he, it upsets him seriously. And in the end, she just tricks him with uh, Abracadaniel distracting Starchy while she sticks him with the cold cure. Even though in the past she herself has been seen using magic, so she's kind of a hypocrite in that sense also. So, yeah. It may not be the most popular decision, but hey, this is my list. If you don't like it, be sure to post your two bits below. Number four. Ricardio the Heart Guy. Yes, uh, Ricardio, he's... While he's on number four of my list of characters I don't like, he's also very interesting. Uh, He's the result of a spell gone wrong conjured by the Ice King to try to win the heart of the uh, Princess Bubblegum. It's interesting because how he was defeated and put back in the Ice King's body, but then he became more powerful. In fact, using muscles and bones and other bodily structures to actually create an entire dungeon to which he stopped Finn and Jake and tried to defeat the princess to to marry her. Now, he did run off, so who knows, he may be back again for a third round. Currently, the Ice King's heart is uh, made of artificial items and maracas, so who knows how that's going to play out. As for Ricardio, great, great villain with a great voice, and that's why he's number four on my list. Number three, the Earl of Lemongrab. <laughs> this guy is really annoying, especially with the scream. I do not know how the voice actor pulls that off, but it is amazing. So, apparently, this was Princess Bubbles Gum's uh, first attempt at making candy life, and obviously something went wrong. She then uh, continued the mess up by creating a second lemon grab. Both seem to be evil, but then, by the most recent episode of Too Old, it appears that the primary lemon grab has uh, become evil, even going to what would be described as cannibalism. So he has eaten uh, his uh, ca- lemon grab counterpart. Is trying to uh, he tries to enforce all these crazy rules and has quite possibly the most annoying scream in the recorded history of this entire show, or maybe any other show. So congratulations, Earl, you're number three, and I hope you do not find that unacceptable. 
Number two, the Lich. Ah, the Lich, quite possibly the most villainous creature in all of existence. A being born out of magic and science, and of quite possibly the most destructive bomb to strike the Earth. The Lich had one goal in life, to extinguish all life from the planet, and he almost got away with it. Fortunately, he has been thwarted multiple times by Finn and Jake, one time with the assistance of the Ice King, and then, of course, Prisbo. He is currently now trapped outside of time and space, so who knows what ma- what mayhem or madness he could cause. And I mean, seriously, this is quite possibly the most evil character on the show, and I really c- cannot stand him for that. Especially with that whole snail thing that happened for so long. And yet, despite this, he's only number two. Who will take the top spot? Stay tuned. And the number one character on my bottom ten list. The person I cannot stand the person who I can least stand in the entire show, Magic Man! I hate this guy. Just flat out hate this guy. This man is annoying to the nth degree of humanity. Now, apparently he was, he was a jerk on his home planet of Mars and was banished to Earth. Now... Seriously, Mars, if you're going to banish someone, could you at least put them someplace where they won't mess with the life on another planet? Like, I don't know, find a planet that's only inhabited by, I don't know, less than enough air that it needs to survive and send him there next time. Seriously. He is messing with the citizens of Ooh. He's He turned a deer into a telescope and then just left the deer de- there, so I don't know if the deer is alive as a telescope or dead. I, I don't know. He's uh, messed with uh, Finn and Jake. On multiple occasions, he even did, the 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 worst thing he did was he turned himself pretty much into a fan fiction relationship writer by giving Finn that little bag of those magical toys that were all the citizens of the kingdom. And he and in that episode he said he wouldn't be back, and unfortunately, unfortunately for us, he did come back. And the worst part was he even switched places. He made himself look like Jake, and Jake looked like him, to the point where Jake almost died. He almost killed off Jake. That, that's, a, that's one of the main reasons why I cannot stand this guy. He actually almost got away with murder and didn't even so much as bat an eyelash. And then he came back and tried to steal Jake's sandwich. Now, the only good times, the, the only possible good things about the Magic Man is how the times I've actually seen him get hit. Seriously, in in Time Sandwich, he gets hit by an explosion, smacked by Bimo's skateboard, and then has his uh, has Marceline in her demon form give him a drop elbow right onto his face. Seriously, the sooner the the writers find a way to get this guy out of the story, the better. Like I said, I cannot stand this guy. So congratulations, Magic Man, you're the best at the worst. Ugh. And thank you, Mars, for sending him to us. Yeah, big thanks there. That's right. Magic Man, congratulations. You're the best of the worst. To uh, whomever is in charge of writing the show, please, seriously, we need to get rid of Magic Man. Come on, he is just... Ugh. He's just just that bad. Seriously, we need to get rid of this guy. I cannot stand him. Does anyone else out there agree that we really need to get rid of this Joker once and for all? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was my two bits. Until next time, this is Pixelated Pete saying thanks for watching.